I'm Doug Lehman with my co-host Barb Giamanco and we're the Sales Accelerators talking leadership strategies to improve your sales performance. Barb, hot topic today, follow up. Not getting back to your customers and your clients enough. Barb, let's talk a little bit about that. Follow yeah. up with me on that. Yeah, well, so isn't it interesting that everybody wants to chase new business, Doug? They're always chasing new business. And Build often, a pipeline. Right? right? Often the sales folks are forgetting that you've got a gold mine of opportunity with current customers. Unless you only saw one widget, Right. he want to constantly be developing new business with them. And so... Nurturing the customer, getting repeat business, maybe getting referrals for more business that that's type right of thing. and so what ends up happening though is people spend a lot of time chasing the new business and as soon as they sign a deal with a current customer they're off to the next thing right now to be fair I know some of that is management's fault let's face it management is probably incenting them to do that but at the same time if you think about it think about how much it costs to bring in a new customer Oh, it's a lot of resources to bring in a new customer. That's right. Keeping a customer happy and a repeat customer, I think, is your best customer. Absolutely. And your best salesperson. Absolutely. It's a lot less. Uh, it costs a lot less. And actually, because you've already developed, let's hope, a good relationship, sure. right? Then it's easier to to, um, to to grow that business. It's actually a more profitable business as well. You've established a relationship now. It's just purely transactional. That's right. But also, let's talk about the follow-up with prospects. Okay. Because one of the things that I think is pretty interesting is that I will hear people say, this all the time. Barb, I met somebody at an event and we had a great conversation and I called them and they never called me back. Well, did you call them again? I mean, <laughs> you know, uh, people are busy. And also, just because you had a great conversation didn't mean that they were waiting by the phone for you, right? Right. So it's important it, that, you know, they used to say it could take seven, eight, or nine times. Now we know that emails and phone calls. Um, sometimes don't get returned at all, but if you've met somebody and had a good conversation, you got to stick with it. Yeah, you've got to be a little bit persistent. Relationships do matter, but it's also building that process. What's their buying process? How, how, you know, They may not be the decision maker, but building that relationship, building that rapport, it takes more than just one call. Absolutely. And also, you could use social channels. Maybe they prefer to ignore the phone because they're getting hounded all day long by people, but they may. But you could engage them on LinkedIn and you could be starting conversations there. The point is, don't give up. One time, one touch is not necessarily going to lead you to having that sales conversation. Exactly. And they may not be the right person to talk to anyway, but you got to you got to have some communication techniques. You just can't throw a smoke signal out there and hopefully they come <laughs> back to you and say, hey, we want to talk to you. That's it, right. It takes persistence. It takes dedication. It takes time. It takes creating value. Is there anything else on no. follow-up that you want to add? No, I think it's just important to remember to follow up and, and one touch isn't, isn't enough. I mean, you might have to stay in front of people in multiple ways for a period of time before it actually kind of spins around into your favor. But you know what? If you're good in sales, Doug, then you know that it's all about being persistent. Being persistent, but conveying value on, on multiple channels if That's you right. have to be, whether Absolutely. it's social, face-to-face, -face, a simple phone call, stay on their radar, but definitely be persistent. Absolutely. I'm Doug Lehman with my co-host Barb Giamanco, another edition of the Sales Accelerators, where we talk leadership strategies to improve your sales performance. So remember to connect, collaborate, collaborate and, and close. close. Thank you.